Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thanks for joining me today. I have a project share. I worked on a album using mostly the Maggie Holmes Sweet Story collection and I want to share it with you. I made the whole thing from scratch and it was really fun to make and it's nice and big too. So um, let's get started. I just wanted to put this here to show you what collection I used for most of it. Um, I added a few other things just because I, I needed to, but anyway, this is it. And I did have a sneak peek on Instagram of the cover, but um, I finished it now. So this is what it looks like. And it's a pretty good size. It's, let's see, I don't really know exactly, but I'll measure it. It's about eight by six. So yeah, it's, it's a nice big size. And as you can see, I use Sweet Story papers. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from the chipboard from Sweet Story. So it's this. Um, I made a acetate shaker tag. And if you watched my haul video from last week, I got some acetate pieces from the etch quill from We Are Memory Keepers. So actually it worked out really good. I used a tag that it came with and I just stitched stitched some tool on top of it and filled it up with some shaker bits. And if you could see, these are, there are two little puppy stickers from Sweet Story that I just, um, I took them off and put some cornstarch on the back and that takes the stickiness off. So, um, so it makes them just, you know, little pieces that you can, you know, put, do whatever with. So I just added them to my, my shaker because they are nice and small. And I added a bunch of sequins and confetti. Um, this trim I'd gotten from AliExpress, I thought it looked cute with the sweet story paper and theme. Um, this is also from the chipboard. I added some glossy accents. These are flowers that I got from KG Crafts. Um, I added some fence that I love to add to my 3D projects. I just think it's really cute, adds great dimension. I added some puppy stickers from Sweet Story. Um, I tied a, I added an eyelet to the tag and tied some ribbon. This, I don't know where this heart was from. I just kind of stuck it on there. And yeah, I made this album from a tutorial from Lyric Lover Crafts that I will link down below. And it's super easy to do and fun, really fun. Let me show you the spine. It's a nice thick spine too. It's about two inches. And I used, for the binding, I used that uh, chunky thread that I had gotten from Zoo Lily that I showed in my haul too. And this tool ribbon, isn't it pretty? It's like aqua with gold stars on it. Got that from Allie. I added a Maggie Holmes Day by Day charm and it's just perfect to go with this paper because it's a little swan just like the paper. And the back is just plain like that. So yeah, let me show you the inside. So you open it up and I added, I had this big pack of journaling pockets. They are Maggie Holmes. They're from Willow Lane, I believed. I used a few Willow Lane things in this album, but it comes with pockets and with inserts. So I thought that would be perfect for a combination photo album scrapbook. You know, you can add pictures and um, describe them and all that stuff. Um, no, I can't put it back in. I'll take care of that later. So I made this frame here. And it was so easy to do. I had gotten this frame punch board. Maybe you guys have this already, but I got it from Zoo Lily. I showed it in my last haul. And it, it looks kind of weird, but it makes frames really, really easily. So it, I've only tried it with regular scrapbooking paper. I don't know how it works with thicker paper. I would love it if it worked with like chipboard. I don't think it does because the blade that you use to cut the frame out is very thin. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah. So I'd be afraid to put that on something thicker. It might damage the blade. But anyway, it worked really good for this project. So it can make a frame that looks like this, kind of like a Polaroid, you know, with like a more space on the bottom. Or you can make it equidistant all the way around. So I glued it down, and I, but I left the top 
open so you could slide a picture down in there. And it's nice because you can make these any size you want. So when you print out your photos, you can just, you know, print them to size. So, um, yeah, so the, what you do is, see the inside there? You just make all these folders and folded cardstock and just slide them underneath and you have an album. It's really a great way to use a bunch of paper. You use a lot of paper in this. So there are like 10 individual folders that I'll show you each. The first, this is the first one. And on the inside, I added pieces from the Sweet Story collection, made another frame here. Um, these are from the ephemera. This is a chipboard piece that I painted and I added some glitter to it as well. It was from Recollections, I think. I have like a whole bunch of different shapes. And I added some photo corners here so you could actually take this out and put in an actual photo. And that's the back. And so it alternates between a regular, just regular folder and then the next one has pockets. And then it has a regular folder and pockets, regular folder and pockets, that sort of thing. So this is the front of the folder, the first folder, and this is the inside. I put, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these folders yet. I mean, I'm sure they'd be good for, you know, ephemera, just mementos, things like that, if you wanted to make this a combination photo album and scrapbook. So, but for now, I just put some vellum envelopes inside them. And so that's the end of that one. And then the next folder, I put some sh some trim from those new Michaels bundles. And there's so many different kinds of trim. They're just perfect for this. I just added that on with Fabri-Tac. And this is a, it was either ephemera or cut apart from Sweet Story. This was from another Maggie Holmes collection, just a piece of ephemera. And that's the inside of that one. If you guys remember, I made that tag last week. And there's some places for photos. There's another one of those um, chipboard, actually they're more, yeah, chipboard hearts. And I painted it and added some gold pen to it. Sorry for the shadow there. Some more ephemera. Obviously all the papers are sweet story, except for when I use solids. So there's that. And then this is the front page of the next folder. I just love this die. I have, it's a nesting set and it has heart, a heart border. Isn't that cute? And this paper is one of my favorites in Sweet Story. And that's a piece of the chipboard. So that's the inside of the next folder with pockets and it has another vellum envelope. And that's the front of the next one. You guys probably recognize these frames. These are Maggie Holmes. I think they're Willow Lane too. I love the little puppy print. And that's the inside. And a place for a photo. Here's another one of those journal. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here's another one of those journaling pockets. Another one of the hearts that I painted. This is a Martha Stewart doily. I love this swan paper. It's so cute. And this is the cover of the next folder. Again, I used that. Actually, for every of the pocketed folders, I used this die, the, the one with the heart border. And I just thought that would just kind of add some <clears throat> cut continuity to them. I added some chipboard accent. And there's another vellum envelope. Here's the front page of the next folder. Again, with that Michaels trim. These are butterflies from Sweet Story. And these are some more photo corners that you could take this out if you wanted to. And the inside of this one looks like this and this has this was a huge journaling pocket from um, Willow Lane. I made another photo frame and this is a piece of acetate from the collection. And of course you can you know dress these up a little bit more if you wanted to. That's the next folder again with that die cut and I added just a simple piece of the chipboard. I love this print too this pink one with the roses. Another vellum envelope and this is I think this is the last regular pocket and I'm sure you recognize this this is a piece of um, 
it's not ephemera, uh, embellishment from Willow Lane. And I just glued that on to the folder with an another little charm from the Day by Day collection. And I thought, these, I think these are great for scrapbooks because you can add, you know, whatever was going on at that point in time. And that's the inside. Isn't this a cute little journaling piece of ephemera from Willow Lane? It comes with like a little notepad. So you can write like a whole little story. And even though I didn't add photo frames here, there's still room to just, you know, glue one on or whatever. And there's that little puppy again. And there's another photo frame, another butterfly. I kind of like this paper as a background. And I just love this. I love Sweet Story. Just all the papers just go together so nice, you know, even though they're so different. That's what I love about Maggie Holmes collections. And this is the last pocketed folder, again with that die cut and a cute little black swan, another photo or vellum envelope. Like I said, I'm not really sure what to do with these folders, so I left them pretty blank for now. That's the inside cover, nothing there now, and that's the back. So it was really fun to make. I'd let you can use whatever you want for the uh, for the spine or for the yeah for the spine like I use the, the thread um, you can use elastic if you'd like now um, the tutorial she made even more folders as you could see I kind of doubled up uh, two threads for each folder she did different folder for each one so it was really thick and chunky but I think this is big enough I mean this took up a lot of paper and it's a really good size but it's really, really easy to do. You don't need, you know, much of anything in the way of like uh, dies. You know, I, I mean, I use the frame punch board, but you don't need to use something like that. You could just put a piece of paper to, to mat your photos. Um, and you just need some chipboard and you cover it with paper and glue it all together and embellish it as much as you want. I like on the inside, you could see the little bits of trim sticking out. Love that. Tempted to add some more, which I might. So, and then I was thinking maybe I would add a closure, you know, like maybe a magnet strap or, or strip or something like that. But I don't know. I kind of like just how it looks like this. It really doesn't need one. It stays really nicely closed by itself. I don't know. Maybe it would change if you started adding a bunch of stuff, but right now I like it like that. So that's my project. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'd love it if, you sub if you'd subscribe. I'm going to come back tomorrow with another haul. Of course I have one. Uh, it's very rare that I don't for Fridays. <laughs> I think that happened once. So anyway, thanks a lot for joining me and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!